everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, guess what time it is? It's Cindy Utter with my Artsy Endeavors and it's time for Explorations of Me. This is for our month of June and what the prompt is for this month is I want you to think of five weird things that you like. It can be anything from a food that you eat a certain way. It could be um, maybe books you read or clothes you like to wear or styles that you like your hair or colors you like your hair or whatever. Anything that you think is weird, um, I want you to find five things. Okay, and we're going to do a journal page based on those five things. Now, I went ahead and I found a double spread here. Um, I've got, this book is getting slim uh, as far as pickings. I have a few single spreads, but I wanted a double spread with this one because I've got five things I want to put out here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some paint put down. Um, I just happen to have these two sitting on my desk. I picked them up yesterday in Michael's. They're, they are different colors, believe it or not. And... Uh, I, I want to try them. Let's see how they how they work. This is Liquitex Heavy Body Professional. Ooh, does that mean I'm supposed to be a professional now? Doubt it. So let's play. Let's play. Let's play. I'm so glad to be in my studio and just having fun. That's what today is all about. Oops, I stuck my finger in the paint, see? See, I'm professional. I stick my fingers in the paint. <laughs> I know this is heavy body, so I know it's going to go a long way. And if I have to, I could lighten it up with water. Um, or make it, not lighten it up. What's the word I'm thinking of? Do, do, do. Make it looser. That's not really what the word is I was looking at either. But we're just going to play. Hold on there. I want some more of this one. This is the more, this is like toward an orange color. This one is called Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue, and this one is Cadmium Yellow Medium. Like I said, they were on Mike in Michael's on clearance. So. I really would like to start getting some heavy body paints. I mean, a lot of the paints I have are craft paints, which there's nothing wrong with that. Sorry, I got stuff on my desk that needs to get out of the way. But I would like to start getting some heavy body paints because, you know, I'm really enjoying working on canvases. And I think they would do better for what I'm doing on my canvases. All right, and my sponge is starting to fall apart a little bit. See the little spots? Yeah, it drives me crazy. Drives me crazy. See? But that's all right. We'll get them all off. It's because I'm pushing hard and I'm rubbing the sponge face off. Is what's happening. I'll just put them all over my desk somewhere. How's that? All right. Just a little bit more of this regular yellow. Nah. Yeah, why not? Then we're going to put another color on here just to make it fun. You know what? I need to bring you guys out a little bit or else I'm going to be constantly coming out of the screen. How's that? Is that better? I think so. All right. So, like I said, I'm just, right now, first thing I'm doing is just covering up that white spot. Now, I know I was, I was watching a, a live video today and we were talking about white space. And boy, sometimes it is so hard to leave white space. Today, I really don't want white space. I mean, I see a little bit of it here, but, you know, I'm trying not to completely take it all off. So, all right, let me take this sponge. I'm going to take what's left over on it. This is a journal that I have just sitting here to the side that I've been working in. Um, and what I'm going to do is just take that paint that I have left over. I just randomly opened this up to a page. Well, let's do this one here. Why not? Okay. 
And that's it. All right, we're going to throw that in the water bottle. Okay, let's find some more paints and let's get going on these five weird things about me. Be right back. Guys, sorry about that. I had to take a little break. You guys don't know that, but I did. Um, and I forgot I wasn't recording when I did this. This is a real thin, thin masking tape um, that I, I just wanted to play with. So what I did is I just kind of did a grid here. And now we're just going to play around with some stencils and some more paint. I've got out some Peebo uh, Studio Acrylics. This is a iridized green yellow. And I got this Verity, which is the Master's Touch Acrylics. So I'm going to put some right here on my mat or my um, palette here. You know, I, I, everybody says, you got to keep these and do something with them. You know what? I'd have so many of them, it'd be crazy, so no. All right, so I'm going to take, I want to use this, but I don't know how well it's going to work. Let's try it. Okay, this is a tool that I bought. It's a Catalyst by Princeton, and I bought it um, actually when I was, I think, down in North Carolina. And I really like it, so I want to see if it'll work good in a stencil. Yeah, it works, but not the way I want it to. So let's take a sponge, and we're just going to do this. Yeah, that's what I want. All right. So we're going to talk about five things that are my weird five things, or at least that I think they're weird. Okay, and I'll show you the pictures once we get this background made. But just remember, um, just because you think it may be weird, it might not be weird to other people. They'd be like, oh yeah, I know that, that's cool. And you know, but then again, somebody, some people are like, oh, I don't know about that. So I think it's kind of cool just to, you know, when you, when you think about yourself, what is it that's different or what do you think is different? Um, you know, what are different things that you like that, I don't want to say the normal person isn't going to like because that's not right either, but you know what I'm saying. What is, what are weird things that you feel to you are things that you enjoy? So there's one and you know what I'm going to do just because I have it here, I'm going to do this and just use up the rest of that paint. Why not? Right? There we go. All right, now I want this one. I want to use this one. And we're going to get another sponge. And this one I'm going to do with the green. And the green doesn't show up real well on that yellow, but that's okay. I know it's there, right? And I really don't want it in the line, so I'm just kind of mixing it up here and there. I like it. I like it. Well, let's see. I need a little bit more. Let's put some right here. And I want some right here. All right. We're going to do the same thing. Da, 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 da. Good enough. And yeah, I know you're supposed to clean your stencils, but you know what? My stencils work very well just the way they are. So they're just going to stay like that. Now I have this real tiny one, and what I want to do... I want to pull some black out, and I'm trying to use up this. This is just a black gesso. All right, what's going on? That looks funny. Huh. I don't know. Lights look funny to me. All right. Um, <clears throat> sometimes I can get it open. Sometimes I can't. So I just want to use up some of this black gesso. Same thing. Grab a sponge. And I'm going to use this stencil this time. And again, it doesn't matter where it goes. I just want to throw some black down. Cool. And just 
do 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 having fun. So, are you excited? Can you wait to see what my weird things are? I know a lot of people think I'm weird anyways. But it's all good. Throw a little bit there. We'll throw a little bit there. A little bit here. There. There, there, there. Okay, perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all that masking tape off. Just because I wanted to see what it would do. So let's start with this. I left. What I did is I left pieces on the edges. See them? So now I can just... I like it. Oh, it's going to take the paint. Come on. No, no, no. Can't take the paint. Got to go slow. Okay. You know, I probably should have put this on before I did the yellow, which would have been even cooler. So it's all good. It's just a thought for the next time. But I just wanted to see what it did. And I probably could be taking this and putting it onto another page. I'm not worried about it at this point, though. I just want to get it off this page. Maybe next time I will. Because I'll have, you know, more paint on it, like the yellow and then the whatever. Um, next time I'll have more layers on it. So next time I probably will. This time I'm not going to. And even where it did, um, you know, do the design, I like it. It's just little squares right here. So that's really neat. So this was fun. I will be doing that again. I like that. Well, like I said, next time I'm going to do it with the white. So I have all these white squares on here, which would have been even cooler. So, you know, we always play and experiment, and that's what the fun is. All right, let me dry this up really quick, and then we're going to get to my weirdisms. I'll be right back. All right, so here we go. Weird number one is the Nor there These are trolls from Norway. And I actually have quite a few of them, and I call them my It family. And I have this piece of artwork that, um, it's like a piece of pottery that someone had made. And it looks kind of like it would be um, on the line of an elephant for my It family. I got it at an antique shop. It only cost me $10. And I fell in love with this thing, and I'm like, it's got to be for the It family. So... This is the beginnings, of, like I said, it's the Norwegian Trolls. I call it the It Family. And this is one strange thing that I like to collect. So let's sit that. We're just going to sit it here for now. Okay, ready for my next weird? This one is food. Pancakes. The only way I eat pancakes is with gravy. I don't care if it's chicken gravy, turkey gravy, browned gravy. I do not eat syrup. I don't like syrup. <laughs> Sorry, it just, uh, syrup to me is just nasty, especially that artificial stuff. Um, when I was growing up on a farm, you know, when we would make pure maple syrup, that's different. That's, that's real syrup. That, even that, honestly, I don't use a lot. Every once in a great while, I'll get in the mood for some type of a syrup. Um, you know, the real maple syrup on something, but very, very rarely. Um, with my pancakes, I use gravy, and with my French toast, I eat it with applesauce or jelly if I don't have any applesauce. So that's another weird item for me. Okay, all right. This is another uh, weirdism. Okay, and this is something that um, it just intrigues me so much, and I don't know why. <laughs> And that is, see this picture? It's an old insane asylum. Okay? I, for some reason, any type of a, an insane asylum intrigues me. I, 
it's all part of wanting to get into their minds and figuring out what makes them tick. And this, I think, comes from where um, I love psychology. I love to f try to figure out and listen to how, how do these people get into this state? How, what are they thinking that puts them into this mental state? That is, if I can read books, I would love to go see some old. I have not done that. A Saint Asylums. Love, love, love. I'd love to do that. This is kind of on the same line, but this is more of, again, the psychology. I am infatuated with jail. Whether it is a show, um, like Locked Up or Locked Up Abroad or whatever the case may be, whether it's a show or it's um, a story about a criminally insane person, okay? Again, the psychology is what really, really speaks to me. I want to know, how, how did they get to the spot where they would do things to a person that they do? Um, how do they get there mentally? What makes them tick? This is huge in my head. I want to know. So that's one another thing that's, you know, it's just kind of strange, but it's something I really, it intrigues me, okay? All right, my last but not least, my fifth um, weirdism or things that I think is kind of weird um, is this is a series of what I have been reading. There are 125 that I know of books in this series. It's called James Axler, and it's the Deathland series. This is Ryan. This is Christy. There's the two main characters in there. There's a few others that are um, in there as well. Uh, some come, some go. I have read, I'm probably at like 112 on the books that I've read. Um, I started at book one, and what this, the whole scenario is, is these guys live in the U.S. on Earth, um, in 100 years out from a nuclear war. So they tell the story of what the what we would look like, you know, a um, hundred years after nuclear after a nuclear explosion. And it's everything from, you know, um, different animals that have mutated to um, acid rain. You know, and it's basically, it's their adventures. And everyone, I, like I said, I'm at like 111. Um, some of the books are a little bit harder to get into. Some of them are much easier to read. They have more action type stuff. But, you know, it's just kind of a strange set of books for me to be reading. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to glue these all down. I kind of wish... These, some of these were more in color, but we're just going to glue them down. I've got the UHU stick. Ooh -hoo. Is that how you say it? I don't know. So we're going to just glue them. Start out with my pancakes and brown gravy. Nummy. I think part of that is just how I grew up, um, you know, eating my pancakes. I just, I don't know. They're good. This is the Mental Insane Asylum. Um, I'm actually just started a book um, about the McLean Insane Asylum. So I love to read about this. That's another thing I do is a lot of times I will have four or five books going um, at a time and that's just that's how I read. And I right now I have I have a Deathlands going. I have an insane asylum and then I have a couple murder mysteries going. So, and that's just, and I also have a book on CD that's in my car. So, um, yeah, I can't even just sit and read one book. I get bored. <laughs> so here's my little Norway trolls. Love them. They're so cool. Someday I'll have to get them out and uh, show you the old lady and the man I've got. And then the cousin it, their elephant or whatever you want to call him. All right. Then we have, again, jail prison. Um, when I was looking at changing my career and going into psychology, one of the things that I did is a friend of mine um, was a doctor at a psychiatric center. 
and she asked me if I'd like to go in and do rounds with her. I said, absolutely. So I went in to do rounds with her. Well, you know, all the units, there's different units for different areas of, you know, mental illness. And the area that intrigued me the most, the wing, was for the criminally insane. And it's just, I, you know, I want to know. I want to be able to talk to them and pick their brains and figure out, you know, how did you get here? How does, you know, how do you work from this to that, you know? But, um, let me move these out of the way. So here are my five weird things. Um, I would love to see yours. I still have some more I want to do on this. I'm going to play around with some doodles and that kind of stuff. But let me put some of this stuff up and I will be right back. All right, so now what I'm going to do, for some reason my seat seems really high, is I'm going to work on just doing some doodling. I can't wait to see what your guys' um, response is to this month's prompt because it's just really cool. You know? Everybody has different tastes, and there's no right, there's no wrong. Same as with the mixed media art, there's no right, there's no wrong. It's everybody's opinion, everybody has the right to have their opinion, and um, that's, you know, everybody has their right to have their own taste of things, whether it be books or, or even, you know, the make and model of your car. You know, everybody's unique, and that's what makes the world so much fun to live in. Think about how boring life would be if everybody was the same. That would just stink, wouldn't it? I think so. So, like I said, these Norway trolls, um, I can't. I think I found my first one, of course, in an antique shop. Uh, and I, I just, I thought they were really, really cool. And so when I, you know, I brought the first one home and then after that, it's like, you know, they're just, they're my it family. Um, and like I said, I have my it guy looks, it looks kind of like an elephant. It's a piece of pottery. I would say it was done maybe by a kid or, you know, um, a student that wasn't really a student doing pottery or whatever the case may be. Um, and I just <laughs> fell in love with it. My husband's like, yeah, we got to get the It family back out. <laughs> like, yeah, we will. So. So anyways, um, you know, that's this month's exploration of me. I hope you guys have fun with it. And I can't wait to see what you do and what you come up with as far as, you know, your weird things. Um. You know, I'm an eclectic type of a soul, which I get. That's no problem. But hey, it's all fun, right? I want to do... Hang on, I want... Where's my big boy? Where's my big boy? There he is. I just want to do... Just big circles. Big circles. just because I can and then I'll probably end up maybe putting a little bit of white in the middle of them I don't know I just wanted some black circles all right I'm going to quick dry those pop them dry and then I'm going to take my white as soon as I find it fun all right um, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of journaling maybe right through here I'm um, actually I can do that while I have you guys on because I'm just gonna write that as soon as I find the right pen These are five.
Five Weird Things About Me. Look at that. And we're going to date it. And there we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I can't wait to see what the five weird things are about you. Again, I've got my brown gravy pancakes, my troll family, my insane asylums, jail, um, prison, whichever we want to look at, it, and my James Axler uh, Deathlands series. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Like, share, subscribe, and um, comment. And we'll chat with you guys all soon. Have a great night. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.